Hello, my beautiful light workers, star seeds, healers, earth angels. Here we are to do our monthly light worker message. Um, this came to me last night in meditation. I was like, oh yeah, spirit, thanks for reminding me. I haven't done the light workers reading yet for this month. All right, you guys, let's just get started. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect with the energy. I was uh, just reminded by spirit to let you guys know to 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 tell you guys to watch that reading that I did the other day. Um, it's called Earth Angel saying no to the devil you know and boundaries. That was a collective reading that Light Workers um, message came through in that reading as well. So if you identify as a Light Worker, a healer, an Earth Angel, <clears throat> Star Seed, um, that reading could be good for you okay all right let's see here spirit message light worker message for for <clears throat> april um throat chakra you guys um i have been working on my throat chakra for the past couple of days um i usually spend a few days on on each chakra before i move up to the next so your throat chakra could be clearing right now message here spirit for the light workers <clears throat> I'm probably going to get, maybe, we'll see um, what's being activated for you guys right now. Uh, we're, uh, we're in eclipse season. We're approaching the new moon. Solar eclipse in Aries uh, coming up on the 20th. So you could already be feeling the effects of this energy. All right, last shuffle here. What is the message here for the light workers? Earth angels, star seeds, and healers, spirit, please. One mess. Okay. Spiritual service and wisdom of the divine feminine. Spiritual service, 21. Look how beautiful this is. Number 21. And then number 9. Spiritual service. I'm going to read this to you guys. Self-doubt can be a habit that is hard to break. It can slow down your spiritual progress and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Ultimately, it won't stop you, but it can make your progress uh, seem more challenging. It's easy to fulfill your purpose when you acknowledge your own goodness and talent and do what you love to the best of your ability. Realize that you are enough, that your work is good, and that you have something of value to offer. This is such a great message. It is time to let go of fear of failure, concern about, concern about your ability and your right to live a happy, fulfilled life of success. The universe believes in you. You are being called to service beyond that which you have accomplished thus far. That is because you are ready, capable, and willing to step up to another level of spiritual responsibility and freedom. Your mind, however, may question your ability. You may be afraid that you cannot perform well enough, that you are not skilled or experienced enough, that you are not as good as others, or that you do not have enough value to offer. These are nothing more than wounded beliefs about your self-worth. Wow. It is time to recognize this wounding and not empower these beliefs as truths anymore. 
So this is it. There, so spirit is asking you to challenge yourself here. To rebel against these outdated limiting beliefs. Yes, you can, spirit said. Be kind to your mind. It will be happier with, with such beliefs. You can free yourself from the pain they cause and become more realistic about your gifts and, and your potential. Now it is time for you to trust love more than your wounds. This, these, these words here from this, from this book feels so comforting. Feels like a warm, cozy blanket, huh? Feels like, I don't know, it feels, it's hard to explain, like you're being washed over, washed like, like a warm bath, like a warm, cozy water here. As you release these old beliefs, you create more space within you to receive impressions of how you can most joyfully serve the greater good. No longer hampered by undermining and draining beliefs in self-doubt. You will have more energy to act on your intuition and guidance. Like I was intuitively guided last night to do this reading. And look at this message. How important is this message? If at any time you find yourself blocked by fear or performance anxiety, it can be helpful to release these blocks by simply asking yourself how you could best serve the greater good at this time. The answer to this question will never be to shrink back in fear. It will always be to choose belief over doubt. It will be it will be to move it will be to move ahead to take the opportunities offered to you as a vote of confidence from the universe. This realization will bring you peace of mind so you can resume your progress and share what you have with the world. If you have been working hard, taking the opportunities that have come to you and are still feeling as though you're not quite where you wish to be in terms of fulfilling your life purpose and divine destiny, you are now asked to acknowledge all that you have attained so far. Acknowledge all the people you have assisted in your own special way. All the positive influence of love that you have added to the collective human soul through your willingness to take your spiritual journey. Open your heart and care about life on earth. Your spiritual service has been noticed by the spiritual world, by the spiritual worlds, and you will be empowered to serve in increasingly beautiful ways. Your service is already successful and it will only increase in potency, power, and peace. You know, I was watching this video, um, I forgot where it was, and um, it was an interview with an author, and he said, he said, the best way to become better and to learn is by actually doing with practice, right? So I think about that often. Just got to keep going. Got to keep on keeping on. Just got to keep doing. Got to keep putting your work out there. Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. I'm going to read this uh, bottom of the deck real quick before we pull a star seed message. Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine Wisdom empowers you to grow into your vision, your dreams, and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Perhaps you envision a different life for yourself to what you are experiencing now. The Wisdom reminds you that you can experience even the most extraordinary dreams as reality if you are willing to grow into what you desire, to become what you seek. Surrender any plans about how you can best manifest your dreams and instead allow life to guide and nourish you through your experiences each day. The universe supports your divine destiny and is helping you become all that you are meant to be. When the wisdom of the divine feminine reaches for you, the message is clear. You are in a process of becoming more of heaven on earth. Sometimes there are growing pains alongside the joy such growth brings. You may feel concerned, thinking your pain is an indication that you are failing in some way. You may judge your suffering as a sign that you are not operating at a high enough frequency. Interesting, because just today I was listening to something, and she said, you have mastered suffering. 
You have mastered suffering. Interesting. Because suffering is somewhat inevitable, right? But it's like you, you have learned how to work with energy and how to alchemize, how to live amongst it and how to choose happiness and peace, how to alchemize suffering how to transmute that energy into what you do want. And you'll have mastered how to do this pretty fast. Like the bounce back game is strong. That just came to me. Yet, how many spiritual masters upon this planet have endured great suffering as well as experiencing tremendous love and joy in the fulfillment of their divine destiny? Growing pains are just a part of the feminine path of creation of breaking through what has become too small for you. It's like you're outgrowing something here. There is joy in the eventual freedom, but the act of breaking through can feel painful at times. When things are difficult or you are feeling doubt, again with the doubt, right? When things are difficult and you are feeling doubt, when you feel the need to do something that scares you and challenges you at the depth of your being, you are experiencing growing pains. <laughs> they will pass and you will benefit from the growth. However, you need to know that while this difficulty is in your life, the divine is very much with you, encouraging you, believing in you so much that it will deliver a tough lesson. You can handle it for however long it needs to continue. And that won't be forever. This oracle also brings you a message about how much the Divine Feminine loves you and wants to help you to grow with the least struggle and the most peace. If you don't listen to her, instead of choosing to believe in fear, you may be terrified of your growing pains. You won't be sure. You won't be sure if they will ever end. You may doubt your ability to turn adversity into triumph. You may lose faith instead of trusting that life has your best interests at heart and that you are capable of meeting any challenges that arises. Instead of trusting, you may believe that the world isn't safe. This can keep you paralyzed in self-defeating, self-harming patterns. While these may give you a temporary familiar satisfaction, Ultimately, these patterns mean you will continue to struggle and suffer under the weight of addiction or emotional pain. You deserve so much better than that. The Divine Feminine speaks to you now and promises that if you are willing to show up to your life each day and trust in the circumstances before you, she will guide you into the most beautiful des divine destiny. It is safe to trust her. She wants for you to only she wants for you only the best and the most beautiful life journey. One perfectly suited for all that you are and all that you can be. Your heart beats in perfect rhythm with the heart of love at the center of the universe. Trust your heart and trust life. All is progressing beautifully as you are guided even deeper into your divine fulfillment. How gorgeous. It was just 1333 on the clock now. And that three is a divine feminine number. So we are in sync here. We are in alignment. Let's see here. Oops. Let's see star seed message here for the collective spirit. I am loving these messages. <clears throat> okay, for star seed message here for the collective. One more shuffle. Yeah, spirits say, yep, that was the last shuffle, all right. Star C message for the collective here, spirit, please. Okay. Star brothers, star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper at the bottom of the deck. Then we have star brothers, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Let's go ahead and um, read that. Star Brothers 106. I love Rebecca Campbell's decks. 106. You're more protected than you can imagine. It's safe to open 
the back of your heart. You're being called to be open to receiving a new level of support now from those in your life and from the benevolent beings you're connected with. Through ancestral pattern, patterning, current life traumas, and past life karmic impressions, many of us have become mistrustful and suspicious of loyalty and have blocks when it comes to receiving support. Wow, I relate to this, spirit. We've learned that we need that we need to go at life alone, that it's not safe to let our guard down and our heart open, that the world isn't a friendly place. Ooh! The Star Brothers want you to have a new experience in life, of life on Earth. They want you to feel deeply secure and safe, even if you're going through a difficult time. You want to call an Archangel Michael also, you guys, if you guys don't feel safe, and go ground your energy, go spend some time in nature. They want you to hand over your fears to them. To see them as opportunities to let in more love. They're guiding you to stay open to receiving a greater level of support than you can ever imagine. Both in this world and beyond. To call in your team of loyal protectors and supporters, both physically and energetically, you are so protected. They want you to learn to soften through life's ups and downs and to learn to open your heart, especially when it most wants to harden. Wow. You guys, this is such a great message of like feeling, having faith and feeling like you are protected. Okay, let me get this, this book here. Let's see what's being activated, then we'll wrap up. What's being activated right now for the month of April for the collective? The light workers, star seeds, healers, earth angels. What's being look at this protection um, message from Archangel Michael? You are being protected, divine protection, cords are being cut, breakthrough energy. Let's see if it'll show up again. If you do work with Archangel Michael and you call Archangel Michael in, this is a very strong message for you. What else here? What is being activated? What gateway is opening up? Third eye activation. An Akashic Stargate. Aligned with purpose. Crossroads. No wrong path. No wrong path. And third eye activation. Brown chakra. Inner vision. And seeing things clearly. Third eye. Your third eye is uh, opening up here, my loves. At being activated at this time you're waking up we go through several awakenings right it's not just one so we just keep getting breakthroughs epiphanies aha moments and awakenings as we progress on our journey the third eye or brown or brow chakra is the energy center found in the middle of the forehead between the brows often represented as an as an eye it governs all aspects of our vision, including dreaming, reading between the lines, visualizations, and even having psychic insights. This card transports us through a gateway, representing our spiritual connections. Seeing with our third eye is our divine right, and our soul self has never forgotten how to do it. In fact, we are often using this special talent even when we don't realize it. For example, when we imagine something before it happens. Your message, the get, this gateway encourages you to unlock your psychic abilities and to stop questioning your divine ability to see. Right here, spiritual service, stop questioning your gifts. Know, know that great potential and healing will be unleashed when this space is activated. So you guys can do um, third eye chakra guided meditations. I use Meditative Mind and Brian Scott, but there are other ones out there as well that you can use, Unlock Your Life on YouTube, Meditative Mind and Brian Scott. They have a wonderful chakra series. If you have an intuition about something, trust what you are seeing. This is a sacred time for the psychic potential that you have had since childhood is awakening from slumber. You've always been a dreamer, sometimes thinking about how the future will show up or revisiting the past. Now the gifts that have been dis discouraged in the past are reawakening and your inner vision is stronger than you imagine. You have an innate ability to see further than human eyes and are able to identify the energies of what is going on around you with your activated third eye. 
This gateway is here to confirm that you are it's here to confirm that what you are seeing and experience is in divine alignment and that you are being supported as you develop this source given gift. All right, you guys, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this message. I am going to read your message for the Akashic Stargate because aligned with purpose is a very strong light worker, healer, earth angel message here. Okay. Um, and I want to see what this has to say, um, your message for what's being activated. You are in alignment with your purpose. You are already doing it. Uh, you can release the overthinking and just keep going. 37. And then we will wrap up. I hope you guys enjoy these um, monthly light worker messages, uh, messages of healing and encouragement for us all that are, you know, um, serving, right, the collective. And we are sh spreading our love and light and helping with humanity's ascension. You know, that we are here together as a community, working together, healing together, learning together holding each other's hands, walking each other home, that we do have each other here, okay, to support each other as we go through these internal changes that are not easy to go through. Like, you know, like Spirit was just talking about um, the growing pains, the suffering we, we've experienced, the suffering we're feeling, we're witnessing, we're watching as empaths absorbing, right? We need a master, observe, don't absorb. That's gonna be very important. Here's your message. Whatever the Akashic target is presented to you, it's because you're at a critical point on your journey. You have the opportunity to move in a particular direction and you have to make a decision. This can feel overwhelming and you may be waiting for someone or something to make the decision for you. But you aren't here to walk a path that was set for you. You're here to walk a path that you have chosen. The next phase of your journey cannot unfold until you decide which way to go. Know that whatever direction you take, and whatever decision you make, you'll always be on the right path. No matter how you get there, you'll always end up in a similar space. Also know that purpose isn't about doing your duty. It's about living life and experiencing joy. Okay. So I was just, uh, what I just got while I was reading this, um, my loves, is you got to work on your spiritual maintenance as light workers, healers, earth angels, star seeds, okay? And that means moving your body, watching what you ingest, watching what you consume on, on the internet, on television, what you're eating, what you're drinking. Because you are a vessel for pure source energy of light. So protecting your energy, right? Maintaining your vibration and holding your focus, holding your vision, protecting your energy is really important. You want to ground on a regular basis empaths because that's going to protect you from um, negative and from psychic attacks and from you absorbing negative energy as well. Call in Archangel Michael on a regular basis, doing an empath cleanse on a regular basis because you're very susceptible. You're very sensitive to energy. Okay. So just um, making sure that you continue with your spiritual maintenance is going to be important. Okay, my loves. All right, that's what I have for you for this month. God bless you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to do all the youtube -y things like liking, sharing, subscribing. And um, you can reach out to me to get your own personal reading. The information to everything will be in the description box below. I love you guys. God bless you. And until next time, much love. Namaste.